Okay, this is huge right now. Taylor Swift just came for Kim Kardashian. Yup, Taylor Swift is dragging Kim Kardashian all over social media, and a lot of people have a lot to say. This is not clickbait. I'm going to run you all the information down of what Taylor Swift had to say about Kim Kardashian, and if Kim Kardashian will respond. So keep it locked in the Rich Lux for the hottest news on YouTube. Okay, so for those who don't know, Taylor Swift just released her brand new album. I was not expecting for 2024 on my bingo card for Taylor Swift to write a diss song to Kim Kardashian. Taylor Swift just released her album and there is a song about Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian probably thought she was in the clear because the first part of the album got released. We were not expecting a second part. And then Taylor Swift surprised us with a second part to the album, two albums. And the song is Thank You, Amy. As you can see, she capitalized K-I-M. She literally at Kim Kardashian. This is the most iconic thing that I've ever seen. There's no hidden message. This song is about Kim. So basically, the bully with the bronze spray tan statue, Amy, that she's talking about is a code name she uses to talk about with her friends in private so they don't have to mention Kim's name anymore. Her karma is that her kids now come home singing Taylor Swift on these Kardashian dinners. So how the verse goes, I wrote a thousand songs that you find uncool. I built a legacy, which you can't undo. But when I count the stars, it's a moment of truth that there wouldn't be this if you hadn't been you. And maybe you reframed it. And in your mind, you never beat my spirit back in blue. I don't think you've changed much. And so I change your name in any real defining clues. And one day your kid comes home singing a song that only us two is going to know is about you. Guys, imagine Kim Kardashian waking up in the morning. Like I am 100% sure that Kim Kardashian has no idea that there's a song about her. Imagine her phone in the morning. Her text messages are going to be popping. Chris Jenner is going to be scrambling. Tomorrow is not going to be a good day for Kim K. And a lot of people online are saying they don't like it. How do I break it to the Taylor Swift girlies that the lyricism on this new album sucks? We both declared that Charlie Puth should be a bigger artist. And Charlie Puth has made songs with Jungkook and the rest of BTS, I'm pretty sure. Um, So by that logic, he already is one of the biggest artists in the world. So I, I don't know. That's not the only horrible lyric I've heard, but just oh my god come on people are saying this is her worst album ever but at the end of that people are saying they actually like the album everyone who listened to those damn leaks and were spewing all over twitter how this is her worst album at best it's on par with midnight's this is the best album i've ever heard i in, in from the most sincere place in my heart fuck you because I was terrified. I was putting in my headphones, shaking that I was about to be disillusioned by Miss Taylor Swift. I was like, oh my God, is her historic run about to be over? Has her pen fine tip dulled? Has the ink on her quill pen ran out? No, but I know what happened. L looking back, I know what happened. All of the non-Swifties, all of the haters, all of the other fan bases were the only ones listening to the leaks and trying to scare us, trying to get morale low for release night, only publicizing the, the Charlie Puth line and the Golden Retriever tattoo line to scare us. And shame on you, you had me fooled. But Miss Swift has done it again, constantly raising the bar for us all and doing it flawlessly. This album is for sophisticated consumers of music. And if that's not you, and you're not that kind of girl, then I, I'm sorry for you, I pity you, I do. Her winning streak still hasn't peaked, you little dust ball. Real Swifties, we get it. This is a top three Taylor Swift album, for sure. What a relief. And I don't understand, like, if you like an artist, you don't have to like every single album that they come out with. Like, it doesn't make any sense or, or anything like that. Like, it just doesn't have to. But all that to say this is I kind of have a feeling that this is part of Taylor Swift's PR stunt. Like, don't pick up, don't pick up. Hey, Kimmy. Our numero uno client. Our skimmy legend. Oh, I like that. Yeah, skinny, skinny legend, legend but skims. <laughs> so we have some good news. And some bad news. But some really good news. What? Taylor Swift has publicly thanked you. Yeah, she said that she actually couldn't have built her empire without you. Yeah, and uh, that you basically made Taylor, made Taylor Swift. Really? You did that. <laughs> What's the bad news? Well, Hello. Uh, she also poetically slanders you by calling you a high school bully, saying that North dances two songs about hating you, and also that the holy woman Mama Swift just wishes of your unalivement. <laughs> it's a really good song. Uh, and 
the plus side is that your Instagram engagement is going to be through the... Yeah, it's going to... Such a good song. Yeah, it is. It really is. Like, this is what Taylor Swift ultimately wanted to generate buzz if people like the album, if they don't like the album, because a lot of like famous T Taylor Swifty fans are coming out so they don't like the album. And I'm like, is this like a plan? Did they really plan this? But anyways, her album came out and this is what happened. Taylor Swift, this is Kim Kardashian in her new song, Thank You, Almy. That features capital letters that spell K-I-M. Here are the lyrics to the song. It says, each time that I think Almy or Amy stomped across my grave, then they, she wrote headlines. Wait. Each time that Ayami stomped across my grave and then she wrote headlines in the local paper, laughing at each baby step I take. Now here's a post chorus. Everyone knows that my mother is a saintly woman, but she used to say she wished that you were, mm, verse three. I wrote a thousand songs that you find uncool. I built a legacy which you can't undo. I don't think you've changed much, and so I changed your name and any real defining clues. And one day your kid comes home singing a song that only us two is gonna know is about you. Cuz, well, people are saying that's about Kim Kardashian, the song the KIM is in it, and people are now on social media saying this. Taylor clocking Kim K and then saying these stories aren't mine anymore is sending me into orbit. She's like, okay, Swifties, you can deal with this one. Followed by, no, but it's been eight years since her drama with Kim. Why is she releasing songs? I'm still, mm-hmm. Followed by, Taylor dropping a Kim K diss track was not on my 2024 bingo card, but I've never been happier. Someone else wrote, I'm hoping Kim K pays her dust. And then, not a song about a school bully being called Thank You, mm-hmm, Kim. See? Say what you will about Taylor, but she's such a comedian to me. I'm crying. She said, I changed your name and she did, but she made sure Kim was still visible. Kim K will never forget what she did thanks to Taylor Swift. Thing is, people are never going to let down the drama that was Kim Kardashian and Taylor Swift. And I don't think people really knew that Taylor Swift was going to be this big of a star that she actually is. I would even say that Taylor Swift has surpassed Kim Kardashian. And the thing is, like, I never understood why Kim Kardashian just never went into music. Like if Kim Kardashian did one album. Okay, I'm sorry. It took me a minute. I was busy running my business, Tokyo Tony Trucking, like I do. But I'm home. I got time now. I'm going to give you the abridged version because if I spoke on every little single thing, we'd be sitting here for three hours. Um, I don't know if you got the time. I ain't got the time. So, I'm going to knock it down the main plot points. Boom. This shit started back in 2009 at the VMA Awards when Kanye got up on that stage and said, Excuse me, Taylor, but Beyonce had the best music video of all time. And Taylor stood there like... So that's what started all this. Then Beyonce got on the stage and said, excuse me, Taylor, honey, come come have your moment. I don't know what the fuck he's doing, but you come back up here, baby. So after that happened, Kanye did an interview saying, you know what? I actually was wrong. I shouldn't have did that. I apologize. Taylor then did an interview saying, yeah, he called me. He apologized. It was really sincere. It shouldn't be no beef at this point. So mind you, that happened in 2009. We jumped to 2013. Kanye then reverses back and says, you know what? Actually, I don't give a fuck. I don't feel bad for what I said. I said it. It was true. Sorry. If you don't like it, fuck you. So we're back in the beef again because you first you apologize. Now you're saying that you was never sorry. So let's go from there. So this is what I'm going to abridge. Basically, Kanye Taylor, they have like back and forth, but it's like a no, we're good kind of back and forth. Like, they see each other at the VMAs. Everything seems fine. They take photos together. She presented an award at the VMAs. Everything seems good, despite him saying, actually, I'm not fucking sorry, so fuck you. So now let's jump to 2016. This is when shit starts to really hit the fan. And this is where Kim gets involved. Kanye comes out with the song Famous, where he says, me and Taylor might still, I made that bitch famous. So then Kanye says, no. Taylor said she was fine with it. We called her. She said it was fine. Kim says, no. She said it was fine. We called her. Taylor says, yeah, they called me and we talked about that part, but you never said you were going to call me a bitch. That's what I got an issue with. Then Kim goes on to say, mm, I don't get what the big deal is. He's a rapper. Rapper called people bitches all the time. He's even called me a bitch. 
you did not eat with that Kim. I don't even know what you said that for. So then Kim leaks a portion of their conversation saying, see, we did have the conversation. She did know about it. So everyone's looking at the video like, ooh, Taylor girl, like, I mean, they got you on video, girl. What can you say? They got you on video agreeing to it. Aw, oh, gag. So that's when they start doing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Taylor's PR team is saying, no, there was never a phone call. I don't know what y'all are talking about. Kim says, mm, well, I got the video right here. They're going back and forth. Kim is calling Taylor a snake. And it's just a whole lot of mess. So Taylor at this point is emotionally distraught. She's like, everyone's calling me a fucking liar. This bitch is weird as fuck. She's sitting up in the studio with her motherfucking husband recording phone calls like a weird ass op ass bitch. Because it, it wasn't that deep. It was a simple conversation. Like I said, I never said the conversation didn't happen. I just was mad because you called me a bitch, bitch. So I don't know what you sitting up here recording convos for like you the feds. But I'm done with this shit. I'm through. Taylor goes into hiding. She's not seen for a whole year. Ain't no paparazzi photos. Ain't no Instagram photos. Ain't no nothing photos. Ain't no album. Ain't no nothing. She's done. So Taylor says, bitch, I'm done. Kim is like, haha, I win. Loser. Then, fast forward to 2020. Gag. The full-blown conversation gets leaked. And guess what? What Taylor said was right. We did have a conversation, but you never mentioned you were going to call me a bitch. You also said you wanted to put in certain lyrics. I said, don't say that. Why don't you say this? I was cool with the shits. I'm just upset that you called me a bitch. So then Kim says, mm, I wasn't mad about the whole bitch thing. I was mad because you said the conversation never happened. So then Taylor says, bitch, my PR people said that the conversation never happened because you know and I know that once I was on the phone with him, Kanye said, the song is not done and I'll call you back so we can go over the lyrics. And he never called me back. That's what the fuck was referred to when I said I never received a call. When my PR people said I never received a call, that's the call they're talking about. When he said he was going to go over with me because then I would have known you were going to call me a bitch and we could have squashed this in the mud and it never would have gotten to this point. Oh, gagged. And that's low-key the end. Ever since then, there's been sly little digs here and there. Just like when Kanye mentioned her in the Carnival song. And she had did something on Time Magazine talking about the whole fiasco. And he felt some type of way about that. That's why he put her in the song. So that's where we are today. And then we have what Taylor just put out just now. So she was long as fuck. And had like, you know, four or five good hits. She has that one song, Turn Me Up. But other than that, like, that was such a long time ago. And that was like such a parody. But if she came out with a better song, like people would live. Like, I don't, I don't understand. Like, why these people don't come out with me? I mean, Paris Hilton even came out with albums and songs. And people still sing about that today. But anyways, it doesn't matter what I think about all this drama in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about this drama with Kim Kardashian and Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift got the Kardashian sisters shaking in their boots. TMZ is reporting that Taylor Swift has yet to receive apology from Kim Kardashian. You can pause to read, but this is basically what happened to Taylor's mental health after Kim did this. And the Kardashian family preyed on Taylor. In 2016, the sisters just kept jumping down Taylor's throat, continuing to go out of their way to harass and bully Taylor. Taylor opened up about this situation again in 2020. Pause to read. She basically just goes on and says that she's not the liar. Now Taylor's publicist jumped on this Here's the statement. Since this is all coming back up, Kim and Kylie have shut off their social media comments on some posts. Thank you for made it this far in the video. Comment down below. That's gonna be your look. Anyways, let me know what you think about that drama in the comments down below. It's just Rich Lux, the hottest celebrity news on YouTube.